Alright, hello. In the last tutorial we made this animated gradient background and in today's tutorial we're going to be adding these stripes across the screen. If you haven't seen the first part of this tutorial, I would highly suggest that you go check it out. There's a link in the description for that. But for now, let's begin with stripes. Okay, so here we are in Android Studio and the first thing we have to do is to define our gradient or our stripe colors so let's do that and let's move this out of the way go to colors and then add here a new color uh, like on, color name and then it's gonna be color stripe start like so and again I prepared some colors advanced like so let's grab this C, control V, like so. Oh, and we have to change the opacity down to 30, like so. And then make another color, which is going to be color stripe end, like so. And then the other color, like so. And again, sorry about that. Again, change the opacity down to 30, like so. And now that we have our colors defined, we can make the stripe shape in the drawables. So, new drawable resource file, and let's call this stripe uh, gradient, like so. And we're gonna change this into a shape. Um, the shape is gonna be rectangle. And then here we're gonna make a gradient. Like so. And it's gonna be. Type is gonna be a linear. And then here we're gonna just define our start color, which is gonna be color stripe start like so and then the end color which is going to be stripe end like so and then the gradient is running in the wrong direction so we're going to change the angle to be 90 yeah okay so we are done here and now that we have our gradient ready, we can actually just build our stripes. So let's open up our main activity layout. And we are going to add a linear layout here. And we're just gonna match parent, match parent. And let's fix this, like so. Okay. And then we're going to set the orientation to be vertical and we are done for now we're going to be adding something later on the linear layout and then inside here we're just going to be adding normal views and these are going to have the width is going to be match parent and the height is going to be zero dp why that well because we're going to be ha setting the layout weight to be one and then the background is going to be the stripe gradient that we made like so and now that we set the layout weight to be one it means that this view is going to be taking up like as much as there is available space in the layout okay so now we can just copy this and paste it under as many times as we need to and I think this is gonna be okay and now go back to your linear layout and then we're going to be setting the rotation to be minus 45 or whatever you want what looks good for you 
but now you notice the stripes stripes get cut off here and why is this well it's because we set the width and height to be much parent so it's taking the screen width and height but we want to extend them further so we're going to be setting both of these to be 1000 dp like so and here too so now they're not clipping and now you notice it's not really centered and that's because we have to come here in the design layout and actually set some constraints to the layout like so so now it's centered and now we have we are done with those stripes and next we're gonna make the animation for the stripes so go to resources folder if you don't already have then make a new resource directory and it's gonna be uh, anim and just okay and inside the anim folder make a new animation resource file and let's call this like stripe underscore anim like so and first we can actually delete this one and turn this into a trans late like so and turn this into a self-closing tag like so and then we can define the delta oh delta x no what is it called oh yeah yeah from x which is in this case gonna be 10 percent like so and 2 x delta plus 10 percent like so and then and then we need to define the duration here which okay well our complete is not working so android duration equals mm, let's say five seconds in this case and then we need to define the repeat count which again probably we can no autocomplete no help here so android repeat count equals infinite like so and then finally we're gonna set the interpolator to be a linear interpolator so we get the illusion let's see here that it's actually infinite because the def default interpolator is i believe it's is in and out so it's going to like speed up and then slow down again so you are, you would see a stop in the animation and we don't want that so we're gonna change the android interpolator to be at and nope Android, Android, semicolon, anim, and linear interpolator, like so. And now, finally, we are gonna come into our main activity and actually start the animation. So first, we have to load in the animation, which is just gonna be anim equals animation utils dot load animation, and the context is gonna be this. And then the IDs or the dot anim dot uh, the name of our animation, which is stripe anim. And then, oh, actually, we have to come back to our main activity and give an ID to our stripe stripes layout, which is just simply stripes. Oh. Stripes, like so. And then we call the uh, stripes and then start animation and then anim, like so. And now we should be ready. Let's see if it works. 
build it and see what happens. Okay, so it's working. And there you go, now you know how to make this awesome animated stripe gradient background effect. But I do have to say, if you want to alter the amount of the stripes, you may have to change the uh, linear layout, containing linear layouts, width and height, and the stripe animation delta x values to make it seamless. And if you found the video helpful, please give it a like, and if you would like to see more something like this, please consider subscribing. Bye for now, goodbye, and see you next time.